it was near the end of the series and we were filming and uh, uh, I walked, maybe it was my last day on set or something, I don't remember, I don't remember many things. Uh, and uh, I was, I was, uh, came on and I said, who? And I was like, you know what, I can't actually talk about this. I was gonna say I was gonna say something, but I can't scrap it. Edit that. That's rubbish. <laughs> that was dead air. Forget that. No, that's. I, I like the fact that you have to stop dead in your own tracks. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah, contemplating yeah. it yeah, because yeah, it yeah. obviously. It's difficult. It's difficult. You want stop to stop. You, you, you want to. You want to take. Look. Filming that show was great, and it was such a trip and such a ride, and I hope that it does the same thing for the audience members when they watch it in May. We meet Josh. Yes, you do. First episode, uh -huh. which is always important. Yeah, thank um, you. He's not doing too well. He's camping, uh, but not he's not on holiday. Uh, well, yeah. He's <laughs> I like Josh. Josh is great to me. He's kind of like, um, um, and I'm, uh, I'm paraphrasing Bruce Lee here, Josh to me is like water. You know, you put water into a bowl, it becomes a bowl. You put water in a cup, it becomes a cup. Be water. So, he, well, he's probably three quarters beer, but <laughs> what, basically what he is, he kind of adapts to whatever environment uh, that he goes in. And I like that about him. Now, he lives on the front lawn of his ex-wife's house in a mm. caravan. You know, life could be better, but he's, you know what? It's it's like he's, ne he's never far from his kids, mm -hmm. uh, his babysitting duties. Uh, um... Never far off being a kid himself, and he drinks drinks a lot, probably to forget his own pain and his own secrets, probably to lessen the difference between himself and everyone else's character. Uh, but uh, you know, in a nutshell, I think he's a, a crap husband and a good father. <laughs> and I have to say something as well about Harlan. He would watch the Daily Rushes every day, and then he would email actors and tell them what a good job they're doing. Okay, now <laughs> that might not seem like much, but it, I've never witnessed that on any other gig. The exec, the creator, doing, taking the time out to, to email. And it gave me confidence. I, I wish the world confidence. And I think uh, Harlan is an extraordinary talent and an even better human being. I mean, he's, because he, he sold millions of yeah, copies. He's, he's written like a gazillion books. books. Yeah. And a gazillion, actually. I think that was the last. It's literally a gazillion. It's isn't literally it? a gazillion. A gazillion. Yeah. And so, so that means, but that, and that's, but I mean, that's the thing. He's like this huge author. Yeah. And that's, and, yeah. and it, I mean, I didn't know his work before I started this. By the way, I, really. I, yeah, now I am so, so in my life is so much more enriched having met him and knowing his work as a result. But before that. I, I didn't I didn't even know him and now I, I meet him. I'm glad he's in my life. It's just it's it's amazing. It really. Gated communities, Emmett. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit weird. And <laughs> Isn't it a bit, it's a bit weird, isn't it? They all know each other's secrets, don't they? Well, or do they? Or don't they? Or don't they? I mean, Michael C. Hall's character goes on a mission and unearths all these secrets about the people he holds close, about everybody living within the gated community. I learned that line off. I got it in. <laughs> Always, so that's a, that's a PR tick. Is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah. One in. Did I do okay on that one? A nice one. But also, but as the father of a, a, a daughter in mm -hmm. real life, mm -hmm. a teenage daughter, mm -hmm. and given the nature of the story, yeah, yeah. Um, that, that must have It's resonance. a shortcut into it, man. My life changed <laughs> when I became a dad, you know? It was like, um, it, it was the weirdest thing, you know? You, you, in one second, you love someone more than you love yourself. Uh, and you become, I remember I turned around to my dad and said, what's it like to be a dad? And he just looked at me, man, old school Irish fella, you know, and likes his drink, man of few words. And he just looked at me and said, vulnerable. And that's exactly how you feel. Michael C. Hall's character um, has a way into her phone. I don't, think I, can get, I don't think it's giving too much away. Today, what with, you know, the, the way people can communicate, you don't actually have control of the ways in which people can communicate with your child. That's true, yeah. That yeah, temptation yeah, 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 is there, yeah, yeah, yeah. but is that, yeah. is that healthy? What, no, what, it's not healthy, no. None of, it's, none of it's healthy. I would never do that with my daughter. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't give her as much freedom as, as she can have. And at the same time, um, uh, continually tell her that I'm here for her for anything. And, and we have the most, we have the closest relationship you could possibly imagine. And I think that would be destroyed if you, if you, if you did that, you know, if you kept an eye on that. But you have to realize where Tom's coming from, Michael C. Hall's character is coming from. Mm -hmm. You know, his, his wife has died, his, his, he's looking after his daughter, he's nervous about that sort of thing. 
I think in my situation right now, I wouldn't do it, but God knows 